Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope well, you're okay today. It's good to see you and love to everybody out there. It's early in the morning and I'm really happy and at peace and it's good to be with everybody. I just wanted to make a video quickly just to say one or two things. First of all, I've heard Bible Thumping may not had um, uh, a Google Hangout and stuck up for me. And I just want to say Bible Thumping may not. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate your friends have st stuck up for me and I just want to say this mate I love you bro I love you to bits I love your people to bits I know I've given you a bit of stick over over time but at the end of the day you're my brother in Christ and to me I just love you and I love your people and you're doing a great work and um, also, um, you know, just just an aside, I love Richard Raspberry as well, and uh, and Raw and Ryan Campbell and Bruce Shepherd and other Christians out there on YouTube land. So, so I heard you at a Google Hangout and you stuck up for me, and I just want to say this. Just look after yourself, mate. Just stay out of it. Don't don't get involved. Don't don't go near this. That's what they want. You'll be playing into their hands. Just don't go near it. They'll do something. They'll say something. And they'll step on somebody's toes that can deal with them but you stay away mate you 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 look after yourself and, and you just get on doing a good ministry the same with your mates I'm a big man I'm fine I'm happy I'm at peace and I'm bigger than atheism I'm bigger than that I've got more to do in my life I know that I've been stuck like a record on this YouTube thing but I am bigger than atheism and I've got more to my life and yesterday I, I had a wonderful day just talking about preaching and um, every now and again I'll do preaching videos and things like that so you know I'm happy I'm happy doing the street preaching and I'm just happy reading my reform books and theology books and stuff like that and I'm really happy so don't get involved in the controversy defending me because basically you'll get hurt basically you'll have your ministry destroyed by these different groups so you want to just keep away and just ignore it and just get on and do your own thing and the rest of the guys need to do the same and um, you just need to concentrate on people who you can engage with, people who you can dialogue with, people who you can talk with. There are atheists out there who have big channels who are willing to dialogue with you, willing to discuss with you and just concentrate on that and just avoid these controversies that these, this, these kind of groups bring up. Just avoid them because that's what they want. And they'll embroil you in all sorts of things and all sorts of accusations and you'll say things and and they'll record it or trip try and trip you up and play it back and make you trying to make you look stupid and everything and all you've wanted to do is just debate discuss or whatever and you get embroiled in these things so you don't need it but like i said i'm bigger than that i'm bigger than atheism i'm bigger than these controversies that they they bring up because I'm a gospel preacher and the main thing is preaching the gospel and that's big that's the biggest thing in history because his name is Jesus Christ he's the King of Kings he's the Lord of Lords he died to save souls and that's what we're here to do is to preach the gospel tell people about Jesus and we don't need to get involved in in these controversies and issues and things like that even if they're picking on me it doesn't matter 
What matters is the cause. What matters is Jesus and his glory. What matters is saving souls. And if I was street preaching and I had these kind of groups near me, I'd just walk away from them and go and preach somewhere where I, I wouldn't get harassed. And that's what you need to do, or we need to do. Just get on, wipe the dust off our feet and just get on and preach, teach to other people. And people are not daft. People can see what's going on. People can work things out. So we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry about our reputation. God's got it in hand. He, kn he knows what's happening. He sees everything. So we don't have to worry. And he'll deal with it all. He'll, he'll, he'll expose these people. These people will get, will get exposed and they'll end up exposing themselves and uh, you just take care of yourself mate you just look after yourself and your mates and all the rest of you guys out there try and work together try and be together try and help each other try and spend time together reading the word together praying together do your bible studies that you used to do they were great Try and involve, make a community of you so that you're stronger. And so that if any of these groups do go for you, they can't break the chain because you're, you're a strong unit. And um, that's not just to you, but that's to every Christian apologist out there. It's just build communities, build bridges together, work together. It's difficult because people can't you don't know who you're dealing with on the internet um, <coughs> but if you can try and build bridges with other Christian apologists and work together work as a community work and you, you, you're doing that um, Bible thumping you're doing that mate so don't worry about me I'm fine I'm really fine I um, I've got things to do. I've got a life. I'm not particularly bothered about these atheists wanting to debate. Uh, I knew that they had nothing intellectually able to give. It's ironic. I do have a theology degree from Manchester University, and the atheists will spend weeks, years, months criticizing Christianity on YouTube. But um, when you call them out and say, okay, let's talk about the resurrection, let's have an academic debate on it. Oh, we don't do Bible, we're not academic, we, we don't, we're not interested in this. It's farcical. And uh, sending farcical um, debate challenges like they did is just idiotic and childish. Basically, there should be people who are willing to stand up and have an academic debate on whether Jesus rose from the dead. And it's farcical that not one atheist of any standing, of any ability, is willing to come forward. And I've tried for five years, really, really tried. And there's no body, either on the atheist or on the Christian side, apart from the professional Christian apologists, that has done as many videos on historical Jesus studies as me. So there should be some atheists out there willing to take up the challenge. But they didn't even know who N.T. Wright was till about two years ago until I mentioned it to them. So, so it's no skin off my nose. I'm not bothered. Um, I've got things to do. But why I've made this video is I'm concerned about you and other people who may have the guts to speak out. And I would ask you to not do so. But I would just ask you to let God deal with it. He'll deal with these people. You look after yourself. You get on with your ministry that God has called you to do. And the same with all the Christian apologists out there. Just get on with your ministry. Get on preaching the gospel. People are going to hell. People need to know about Jesus. You've got the word of life. So you concentrate on that. Don't get embroiled in this controversy. Or any controversies that these atheists bring up. It's just a red herring. It's just a waste of time. 
a waste of energy and you don't need it you don't need it humanly speaking and you don't need it spiritually speaking and you don't need it because you've got a job to do that's to save souls and you've got a job to do that's preach the word of God so get out there and do your job because you guys are good at it my job's out there in the streets preaching that's my job I've, I've finished my last videos now I wanted to do some videos on preaching um, there's nothing more for me to do and I've been on this track for a long time I've made millions of videos and I've made millions of retiring videos <laughs> but I'm, I might I just want to say one thing I might say I'm leaving and I don't I'm leaving and I don't there's one thing I never never always keep to my word I've never denied Jesus I've always been a Christian and stuck up for Jesus even though I failed and made mistakes so I'm getting on with my job and that's preaching the word on the streets and I'm not getting involved in any of the stuff that they do what they do is up to them um, how they get on and do their atheist ministries I'm not interested, I'm not bothered they can do whatever they want as for me I've got a job to do to preach and I'm just getting on with that um, and I've just asked all the Christian apologists out there to hold back or anybody out there who's biting at the bit to speak out I'll just say hold just bite your tongue and just get on with your life and don't worry about it God's going to deal with these people alright take care and God bless you